Hey everyone, thanks for checking back. Um, as I said in my uh, previous blog, I'm going to do a kind of a series of like different health aspects that go along with being trans and also just in general of being LGBT. Last time I did kind of like mental health along the lines of trans and how I just like my opinions on like mental health and just kind of the different things that you go through. Um, and this week I thought I would do um, like coming out to your health healthcare provider. I know going to the doctor is not high off on anybody's fun list, but unfortunately it's something you know we all have to do um, to stay healthy. Um, and just in general, like with before I get into like the coming out to my tr doctors as trans, um, just coming out in general as being well, before I came out as trans, I was being gay, I I never really did. I kind of did in a sly way towards the end there, but originally I never did. So I would go to like just my regular doctor, um, and the biggest question of coming out to your doctor is always around birth control and whenever they ask you any questions about sex, um, pap smears, that fun stuff. Um, and for, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do, but for a long time when my doctor would ask like, you know, are you sexually active, um, are you using birth control, whenever those questions got asked I either, well at my first three, my first answer was always no, regardless of if that, if that was true or not, like if I was sexually active or not, I would always answer no because then that way I avoided, um, like the birth control talk and I also avoided the pap smear um, which I know along a health wise it pro it's not the best thing to do so I'm not saying that's what you should do at all um, and once I got a little older and the questions came up I I know a couple of people um, who have done this too of like when they ask like well what kind of birth control do you use I, I got confident enough to be like well, I'm a lesbian, so that kind of does the trick. Um, or I, I mean, I think I said I first. I, I first said, um, well, I don't have sex with guys, and I just kind of looked at the doctor, and she just kind of looked at me back, and she's like, "So are you saying, I'm like, yes, I am gay. I do not have sex with guys." <laughs> and that pretty much does the birth control for me. Fine. Luckily. My doctor was really chill, and she just laughed, um, and like was really cool about everything. And then talked to me a little bit more about the other stuff. Um, but that real that was kind of my my moment when I first came out. I just kind of did like one of those sneaky remark type things. Um, it comes down to like your family doctor, or like the person you go to um, for you know, physicals or whatever, I I think it's, I know it's scary, but I think it's a good thing to come out to them and tell them, because you may be scared, but also there's patient-doctor confidentiality, so they can't really tell your parents, um, and also in the long run, it's better for your health too, because you don't want to you don't want to go on and not be tested. You don't want to go on and not get the things done that you need to get done to be healthy. Um, so my tips for coming out to your medical physician um, is if you're a person who does humor, it's always fun to do those like sneaky remarks of like, well, I don't have sex with guys, or if you're a guy, oh, well, I don't have sex with girls, so... I'm not like whatever it is um, but it's also important when it comes to like getting tested for different things um, for like different STIs or STDs um, HIV pap smears um, that kind of stuff so I think it's really important so if you are the f humorous type drops kind of a funny funny bomb on them um, if you're not if that's not who you are and you just rather just come out and say it than just say it um, but I do think it's important that you do so 
um, in that aspect just because it's it's your health and we want to make sure that you're healthy. Um, more specifically with being trans, um, luckily I, I kind of had it a little easier than a lot of trans guys out there do um, because when I came out here from home to go to school, I the only doctor I went to was the doctor on campus here. Um, and she is really cool. Like, she knew, I mean, I was out and proud when I came to college, um, well, without be, with being gay, because I wasn't out about being trans yet. Um, so, like, she knew I was, like, she knew I was gay. Everyone knew I was gay. Um, so we never really, we never had to have that talk. The only time it came up was, did, were you ever put on birth control? And when I said, no, like, that's the last time it came up, because there's no need for it. Um, and so I think mean, she kind of already knew and they're already kind of new. Um, but then once I formally told her, like I just formally said, I'm looking for a gender therapist because I am transgender um, and I want to get the ball rolling on whatever I need to do with hormones um, and whatever therapy I need to get done. Um, so that's just kind of how I said it. And at first, I mean, because I've already seen her, like, she was, like, okay, cool, wrote it down, like, we'll be taking testosterone in the near future. Um, because they need to know, like, what you're take, like, what medicines you're taking. Duh. And from there, like, I found my gender therapist, which, as I said in my other video, like, I had to come out to in order to start transitioning. And then from there, I went to my endo to get my uh, testosterone. And so obviously she knows, um, and my endo was also an OBGYN, so she, I get my physical stuff done, taken care of there, um, because she is, because she's an OB, and then also because she works with uh, trans guys all the time, so she's really sensitive to, like, how, it's, it's already awkward, but then just imagine, I mean, you're a guy getting a pap smear like that just it doesn't equal and so she's really like just really sensitive to all of that and so I kinda like I said I kinda had it easy cause all of my doctors already all the doctors I've had since I came out as trans have already known and again with being trans then it gets really tricky because um, not only do you you have to come out to the person, but when you're trans and you get your birth certificate and light and ID and name changed, so your name and your gender marker or sex ID marker, um, once you get that changed, that all has to be changed on your insurance. Um, so then you have to go through the whole process with the insurance company so we had to send we had to send in my new birth certificate and the court order um, I believe so to the insurance company to get my name and gender marker changed on there which with the gender marker can be really tricky because as it's set up right now it's only male or female um, so I don't know how it would go it will go in my future doctors Right now, um, the like because my because my doctor who does my physicals knows I'm trans. Like they don't like the pap smear is included in the physical, but like in my future doctors, I'm gonna have to come out and say like I am transgender because with the physical when I ch put the M in the box, like they're gonna do a different physical. Um, like because they're gonna think I have male anatomy um, so in that case you are gonna have to come out because you it's it's all health related and it's something that you need to get done um, and so coming out to the insurance and then coming out to your future doctors I'm really nervous about that one I'm not gonna lie um, but I know it's something that I have to do you I don't want to do it I hate doing it but I feel like with being trans, a lot of trans guys go without getting pap smears done or go without 
getting whatever checked out because because of the fact they don't want to come out to their doctors of like hey I'm trans because you can be stealth and you can just like nobody knows just live your life completely as a guy um, not no mentioning whatsoever of trans at all but then that one item comes up and then everything is everything that you worked for is gone which I don't believe so but I know some guys think that um, and so I just think it's important to understand to and it's, I think it's important to not avoid the doctor don't avoid coming out to him don't avoid going in general um, because you don't want to mess with your health um, so in a nutshell come out to your doctors if it's appropriate do your research before you go to any doctor um, if you're starting a new doctor do some research of like what their credentials are in, if they have experience with transgender patients, you can f often find a lot of this information either through your insurance company's website or through their personal website. Um, so just kind of find out a little more about this person and their practice. Um, and then with being trans, um, you know, with your endo and your other doctor that you usually see that got everything started they're gonna know already so congratulations you're one step ahead of everyone um, and the second is don't avoid going to the doctor or health issues just because you're trans I know it's scary and I know it's hor it scary is not the word for it. it's horrifying I know it's horrifying but I just believe that you don't ever want to mess with your health um, and so, and again, with that is like if you're starting a new doctor, like if you move or you just get a new doctor, um, do your research again. Find find another OB that works with um, trans patients, because I mean those doctors can do physicals too. That's not a problem. Um, so find find a doctor that works with trans patients or is more liberal or you know whatever it may be um, and just from a trans point of view if you can find a doctor that works in an office that is not just catered towards OBGYN patients so you're not going to be the only man sitting in the waiting room the, obviously that would be ideal if that's if that is the case and that is your only like option talk to the doctor, talk to the receptionist, talk about um, just like if there's a way to set something up like you can just go into a room right away or you know just take a deep breath and walk in and just be proud of who you are No, you don't need to say anything to anyone just go in there sit down whatever people think about you people are gonna think about you so what you are who you are and by going to the doctor you're taking control of your life you're taking control of your health control of your sex life and that's all that matters so if you take anything from this video take out take those points but yeah so check back for the other uh, health topics and remember stay true to who you are and the sky's the limit